Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and I'm glad you're here because today I want to talk about something that it kind of breaks my heart a little bit, actually, because I used to love these people. I, I love this channel. I used to watch it all the time. Now, you guys may have seen um, the stuff that's going around with G4 TV. They actually brought G4 TV back. They have a YouTube channel, a Twitch channel. I don't know if they have it on TV yet. I could be wrong. But as far as I know, I think it's just YouTube and Twitch and other outlets. But uh, you got some of the old people coming back, like Kevin Pereira, uh, Adam Sessler, and a bunch of new faces. And, you know, we're missing people like Olivia Munn. Uh, what's the other girl's name? Morgan Webb. And there was a few other ones. Uh, that, now, it's crazy because when I was in high school, I used to watch G4 TV like all the time. Like I was watching things like X Play, Attack of the Show. Um, they, they had this like, it's like VH1s now, you know, but it was like video games. I forgot the name of the show, but it was really cool. And they had things like Cops and I think it was MXP. Um, and there was a few other shows. And I really loved the cast because you know, it was a fun, like it was a fun channel. And, you know, they eventually they had it in the channel, which sucks. And, you know, I always liked watching Adam Sessler because Adam Sessler, he was pretty open to the things he says. Like, one of my favorite uh, reviews is, I think it was Killzone 2 versus uh, Gears of War 2. And just some of the shit he said was really great back in the day. Because back in the day, and what's is still kind of happening now is we had things like System Wars where you had, uh, you know, your Xbox, your Nintendo, and your PlayStation fanboys trying to pick allegiances to say, oh, this console's better, and you're a piece of shit for liking the other console. And, you know, it kind of didn't fly on that on that channel, which you know, was great. Uh, Attack of the Show had some pretty cool skits. Um, uh, Olivia Munn was awesome. Uh, Morgan Webb was awesome in X-Play. Now, one of the things that was said is was by one of the new commentators. I think her name's Frost. Now, Frost did have some valid points, but the way they went by doing this was pretty bad. Like, just bad. Especially after the tweets uh, come out from Adam Sessler, which, you know, I used to follow Adam Sessler quite a bit, but I never really paid much attention to him on Twitter. And come to find out that he's just one of those people that's on Twitter with a blue check mark and pretty uh, stereotypical fashion, you know, making fun of anybody that's read. Like, one of the things he said was all Republicans are chicken shits and Nazis, white supremacists. Uh, or even went to the point of saying all my family that's, you know, Republicans can eat shit and die. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of crazy. You know, I don't care what you say. Like, you, you saying that and you're trying to build a channel and trying to build your brand. I know Twitter loves that kind of shit. I know they do. I mean, it's, that's all that's on there. But if you're trying to build a channel and trying to maximize your viewers... Republicans do hold a lot. There's a lot of them. And not all Republicans are Nazis. Actually, probably hardly any of them. Like, you could say that. You want to generalize. Maybe maybe you do have some skinhead racist Nazis that are part red, but those are that's pretty rare. I mean, the same thing goes on the left. You have some pretty bad eggs on the left. And, but for some odd reason, Twitter likes to paint all people that are in red as pieces of shit white supremacist Nazis. And that made me pretty sad seeing the fact that Adam Sessler came out and said these things. Like, as somebody that actually loved his content, like, it breaks my heart because I'm one of those people he hates. And one of the things that Frost was talking about was sexism in gaming. And that is true. That There's a lot of sexism in gaming, actually in all media. In all media. And you can't stop it. You just can't. The same thing, you can't stop racism. You can't stop any of that shit. Like, you can ignore it, though. And that's what I think you should do, is ignore it. Because the more attention you give to it, the more fire, the more wood they have, the more gasoline they have to add to the fire. And it just never ends. But the way they approach it, attacking actual fans that may be on the right side of the aisle, 
and saying, hey, we don't want you. Fuck off and die. That's pretty bad. And, you know, they did mention things like Trump supporters. Now, there were 70 some million Trump supporters. Are you telling me all 70 some million Trump supporters are Nazis, white supremacists? Are you? I mean, is that true? Let me go ahead and tell you, I voted for Trump twice. I'll go ahead and say it. I did. I did. You know why? Because the Democratic Party fucked up. See, my pick was Bernie Sanders. I voted for Obama twice. And I was going to vote for Bernie Sanders. But guess what? The Democratic Party showing her asses. And, you know, he was popular. But Hill Dog came in. Nobody wanted to vote for Hillary Clinton. So I picked the worst of the two evils, which at that time was Donald Trump. And that was the first time I've ever voted for a Republican. Now, the second time, I was hoping on Bernie Sanders. He's... He's doing good. And I don't think all the shit that Donald Trump done was all that bad. He was actually a pretty decent president. You can say what you want, but he got shit done. He had a loud mouth. That's about it. People always said he was a Nazi and hates the gays. But as far as I can tell, whenever he was pro, uh, nah, shit. Oh, my God. Promoting himself, campaigning, that's the word. Like, he was the only one that held the LGBTQ flag up during his uh, campaign rallies. Like, he did. You didn't see hardly any of the other candidates doing that. As a matter of fact, if you go back and you look at things like uh, Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden, you can see they used to be quite racist against of, against people being gay, pretty much. You can look at that. But they changed their tune because that's how they're getting photos. They still probably believe, you know, in racism and, uh, you know, hating homosexuals and lesbians and trans people. I think that's true. I think that's true. They're only telling you what you want to hear. At least Trump, when he comes out, he just says whatever the fuck he thinks. And that's what I liked about Trump. But I was going to vote for Bernie Sanders again. But they fucked him over. Fucked him over. They put two uh, two shitheads, you know, Joe Biden, who can't even get a fucking sentence out without fucking up. Same like me. I can't either. I can't. I stutter too much. I know this. Fuck off. <laughs> but then you have fake Kamala Harris, which if you take a look at the campaign then and how she became the VP, it doesn't make sense at all. Because during the VP, the actual campaign when she was actually running for president. She was calling Joe Biden things like racist and all this stuff, but now they're best friends, apparently. And she sucks. She fucking sucks. This is the same lady got up on stage and said that January 6th was worse, or if not, you know, the same as 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Like, that doesn't make sense at all. I don't understand that. It's like, okay. Okay, so uh, the summer of love with all the riots and shit, people burning down cities is not as bad as people literally just walking through the actual White House. But they're terrorists. There was hardly anything done. Matter of fact, a lot of the police and security just let them on in. Let them walk through and say, hey, check this out. There was hardly any violence. There was some. Of course, there was some. But that does that you know they take that and they elevate it, make it way worse than it needed to be. Especially people on the left saying like Nancy Pelosi, AOC, trying to make these things way worse than it actually was. And actually, it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. It wasn't on the levels of the stuff that was happening in all the cities throughout the United States. And I know I'm on a tangent because I kind of drop from things and I go, okay, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here, go here. And we were originally talking about X-Play and G4. Fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I don't know why I keep on doing that. But let's get back to G4 TV before I go even further into that. Because once I get started, it's hard for me to stop. But it's so weird that I I looked up to this these people like Adam Sessler. And I loved that show. It had it was a legacy thing for me. Like... I'd grown up with that stuff. I, you know, that's what got me, you know, where I am now. I'm a, a gamer, a nerd. You know, I, I take pride in that. I know a lot of people's like, hey, you shouldn't be a nerd. I've always been a nerd. I don't care. I don't really care. And I, you know, one of the things they said was 
Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn was not there to be eye candy, which if you watch some of the stuff back in the day, you know that's part of the reason why they was on there. It was, you know, Attack of the Show, they had Olivia's Rack. It was a skit. Uh, you had her throwing her panties, you know, in a panty bin or something. Then you had uh, Morgan Webb being on Maxim. That's partially why, like, you know, you, you probably don't think that's true, but when I worked at GameStop, you know, one of the things they did was they would hire a female, a good-looking female. She may not have known anything about video games, but she was pretty damn good to look at. And the reason why they do that is because they know there's lonely nerds out there but don't really get any, you know, attraction to the opposite sex. So they hire these people on, say, hey, this will this will help. And, I mean, it's kind of like the same with Starbucks, you know, the guys. It's like, oh, she's flirting with me, which she's just talking to you about the couple when in all reality she's just doing her fucking job and giving you your coffee and that's how GameStop was they were just hiring beautiful girls to get more draw in and again you know some some people that I worked with they didn't know anything about gaming and they didn't care they didn't really care but you know they got people in the door and that's kind of how X Play and G4TV was you had these beautiful uh, people doing shit uh yeah i could what's the uh, there's a girl i think it was kaylee she was she was gorgeous and i can't think of, she was on attack of the show um but one of the things that frost was saying was it's disgusting how people was acting within the chat room and it is if you hop on any chat room it's going to be disgusting but chat i'm saying chat room like it's something you know, that's from 1998. We I mean, just take a look at chat. I'm sorry. You know, people was getting banned left and right because they might have said something. But, you know, you do have people that hop on there and say really shitty things. How I look at it anymore, and I'm not good at this, is I try to ignore that. I try to, it's always going to be there. You can't stop it. You know, the internet's disgusting. It, it really is. It's just, it's just disgusting. But, yeah, like, she's just coming out saying, don't watch our content if you're like that. And Adam Sessler and him's like, hey, we don't want uh, people that voted for Trump or have, you know, different opinions they need to watch our TV show or YouTube channel. And then you start seeing the max exit. So people are like, okay, you told us not to watch it, so we're not going to watch it. We're going to drop out. And since you're trying to pick this thing up and get the show running you fuck up and do something like that i understand what frost was saying i do i understand what she was saying she had some points but the way it was that went out there and this is not being some fucking cuck i'm not being a cuck i don't care what you say if you say i'm a cuck i don't care fuck off but anyways she did have some valid points she did i you know I think all women, uh, men, yeah, people of different sexual orientation, whatever race, color your skin, everybody should have rights. They should be able to stand up for themselves. But don't attack all, you know, a whole group of people just because they have a different opinion than you. And like I said, you can't stop it. I, I mean, you can't stop it. Now, I'm not saying, like, one of the things she said was, like, I'm not as bangable as Olivia Munn or Morgan Webb. I don't give a fuck about that. It's like, that's not why I'm watching G4. Like, I don't care. I mean, back in the day when I was a horny teenager, you know, fuck yeah. But I don't really care about that anymore. I, don't, I don't really don't. I've got a girlfriend. I don't, I'm don't. getting ready to get married. Like, it doesn't bug me. That's not something I really care about. I just want to watch, you know, G4 like I used to and be like, hey, I got, you know, I'm liking this. But before I go any further and try to make go out into a different part of the universe, like I always do, I'm going to end it right here. Guys, I'm just going to tell you, if you get, you know, people treat you like shit on the internet, ignore them. Just like, fucking ignore them. Ignore it. That's the only thing you can really do. I mean, <laughs> we've got fucking trolls. We've got that. And if you have 
you know, you should respect somebody has a different opinion than you. I think that should be true. I think, you know, as a collective, we are going to disagree on things. But I don't hate you because you voted left or voted right. I, I, you know, I don't hate you because you're a woman or you're gay or you're black. I don't hate that. That's fucking, and I don't think you should be like that either. I think you should, you know, form your own opinions and we can have that dialogue. And that's why I like this channel. It's like, it's this small, but I do think that, I think it's good. I think it's good to have a dialogue and we can talk about this shit. That's just me. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button and I'll see you soon.